Hello everyone, I'm Roger Hoover alongside Tennessee head coach Todd Raleigh. And Coach Raleigh, congratulations on winning your first SEC series last weekend against Mississippi State. Yeah, we played good. Um, we did a lot of good things. Thought we really pitched well Friday and Saturday. Uh, you know, disappointed on Sunday, 10-9 game. Anytime you score nine, feel like you have a chance to win. But played hard all weekend, so can't, can't fault that. Played good defense and, and seemed to manufacture more runs than what we have. And that Friday win, Brian Morgado came out of the bullpen, was pretty much locked down for you guys. And he also came in and pitched on Sunday. Talk about him coming out of the bullpen. Well, he, he just seems to be pitching better right now coming out of the pen. And that Friday game was a close game. I think it was 3-1 to one when we brought him in the six. And I uh, felt like that gave us a good chance to win. Did an unbelievable job. And then, you know, he didn't throw a lot of pitches. And we got to Sunday, and, you know, we had a two-run lead with five outs to go. And, and we had him and Matt Ramsey felt good about it. And, so we just want to pitch him again. I don't know if that's a full-time thing, but I like him right now in that role. It seems that Control Davis is out of his slump. He had a monster game on Sunday. He did. He went four for four on Sunday. Um, did a great job and, and had some better swings before that. And if we can get him going, it'd be you know be a good time to get that happening right now. How much of a spark does he provide this lineup when you consider that Forsyth and Cody Hahn are also hitting home runs? Well, it gives us a lot. I mean, it gives us another weapon altogether. And, uh, you know, he's really kind of the guy that kind of makes us go because he can manufacture runs running in with power, you know, which a few guys can. So he can beat you a lot of ways, and it just it makes our lineup a lot better when he's doing what he's doing. Prior to Tuesday's game, we learned that Josh Lyles is going to be out for a few weeks. Just talk about uh, what's his road to recovery like. Well, it, it, he's going to be in the cast for two weeks, and after that it's going to be uh, evaluation time. So, you know, it could be longer than that. It's at least that, and it, it's going to depend on pain and, and you know, how much he heals. So, you know, obviously we're going to miss Josh. He's kind of a spark plug for us. Eight home runs in the leadoff spot and great defensive player and kind of kind of our spark plug a little bit. So, but, you know, it's, that's baseball. Coach, last week against Lips, going to a blowout win, and then earlier this week on Tuesday, a blowout win against Belmont. Just talk about how relaxing it is when your team can open it up to a large lead like that. Well, it is. I mean, you can do some different things. We threw a lot of young pitchers last night, and um, it, it's good to happen like that. And they're not going to blow everybody out like that, but I think it's our program compared to last year already, we're starting to do that more in the middle of the week. And uh, it, that, that does help us a little bit because we are offensive and we have a chance to be, and if we can pitch a little bit, it just gets some guys an opportunity to play and gets some guys an opportunity to pitch where they can develop. Dylan Hofchaver pitched for you on Tuesday night. It seemed like the most meaningful work he's had in a Tennessee uniform. Yeah, you know, he, he did. I mean, he pitched, gave us a good inning last week against Lipscomb. And then, uh, you know, last night we gave him his first career start. And uh, I know he's a little bit nervous, but uh, you got you to gotta develop these guys. There's no way around it. And, uh, you know, this was a good way to do it. And he did a fantastic job for us. Looking ahead to this weekend, you're going to Baton Rouge to play LSU, the top team in the nation. Just talk about what a challenge it's going to be, but how you think your guys can respond. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tremendous challenge. You know, I've been fortunate enough to, to play in, I think, two or three different regionals there or coach. Uh, so I know what kind of atmosphere they have. And, uh, you know, it, it's a tremendous experience. I think it's a tremendous challenge for us, but at the same time, a great opportunity. Um, I think we match up well. I mean, if, if Brian and Nick can pitch like they did this past weekend, I feel like they're as good as anybody in this league. And um, I think left hand is the way to go against them. So I feel like we're a pretty good matchup. And, you know, I know it's their spring football game and they're going to be, you know, they're going to be getting after it down there a little bit. And, you know, I think it's going to be great, the, their new stadium. And uh, it's just a great place to play college baseball. And I think our kids will enjoy it. Our thanks to Coach Raleigh. Best of luck to the Vols this weekend in Baton Rouge.